Well, this Sunday we're observing Sanctity of Life Sunday. Uh, it's often celebrated in January. And uh, I asked Dale to come and share with us something that he's been involved in now, I think for the last two years or last year and then again this year, uh, the coldest night of the year. So Dale, could you explain to us what is the coldest night of the year? The coldest night of the year sometimes isn't actually the coldest night of the year, but it represents um, an opportunity for people to do something for those people that are homeless, uh, hurting, hungry. It's a, an event that happens across Canada in hundreds of locations where people gather together to go for a walk and raise funds uh, that will help support charities that uh, provide services to those that are homeless, hungry, need counseling, um, and other services like that to support those in our communities. Yeah, so we're, we're talking about the sanctity of human life and obviously human dignity is a big part of that, uh, recognizing that lives are valuable, these lives are valuable. So I, I wanted to know, Dale, why, why have you gotten involved these last few years? Why do you care about this, this event? Well, I have to give some credit to my son-in-law and daughter, Brian and Jen. They've been involved for over 10 years and we've supported them. And last year I thought, what about our own community? Uh, Sault Ste. Marie. I know they've done a coldest night of the year walk here. I'm not sure how many years, but I thought this is something that I think is a, a great thing. It shows a, an opportunity for us to, uh, or gives us an opportunity to demonstrate our love for our community and for those that are that are hurting. And so last year I did put together a team of uh, people. There was five of us and we went for a walk that night. And uh, it really struck me as I looked across the the um, the gathering that was there, all the people and the, um, the enthusiasm and dedication they had to help others in the community. And so I talked to the board this year about doing something as a church. And so this is uh, an opportunity for our church to demonstrate our love, our care, and reach out to our community uh, to help those that, that need the help. And so we are, uh, we're going to uh, have a uh, have some people participating uh, and there's lots of ways that you can participate and we'll talk about that in a moment. But I think this gives us a wonderful opportunity to reach out to others, um, but even in this COVID time that we have. Yeah, and you know what, talking about uh, it hitting home, within this last few years, we've had families touched by drug overdose here in Echo Bay, right, right here in, the, in town. Uh, if you look back at the news stories in Sault Ste. Marie over the last year since COVID struck, you see things like violence and drug abuse, uh, poverty becoming more and more of an issue in our, within our community. So I, I think there's definitely, you know, it, it does hit home. So Dale, you said that there's going to be an opportunity. How can people get involved in this coldest night of the year if they want to get involved? Okay, so we have a church team. The name is called Stepping Up. And you can go uh, to the coldest night of the year website, cnoy.org. You can find a location, Sault Ste. Marie, and find the team. Or you can contact me. I, most of you know how to reach me, by phone or by email. You can decide if you want to walk, and it is COVID safe. It's done differently this year. You walk in your own neighborhood uh, by yourself. We're not gathering together in big groups. So you can choose between two kilometers and five kilometers. And you can look for sponsors or donors who will... Uh, to raise funds towards, um, towards this support. Um, so one way is walking. A second way is simply to donate to the team or to one of the individuals on the team. And I would say the third way is you can pray for those that are going to participate and for the people that this uh, outreach uh, goes to. And St. Vincent's Place is where the funds go to in Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, it gives hope to the hungry and homeless in Sault Ste. Marie through doing a few things. Uh, they operate a men's shelter, uh, the soup kitchen, a food bank, and a thrift store. And so that's where the money goes locally here. So I encourage people to think about which way they would like to support. And uh, we welcome a, a lot of walkers, even though we won't uh, physically be together. Uh, the walk is on February the 20th. That's a Saturday. You can do it any time that day. If the 20th doesn't work out, you can pick a different day. Um, but there's lots of information on the website. And of course, you can contact me for, for all the details. I look forward to seeing a number of people participating any which way you can.
Yeah, and it sounds like, well, it's, with COVID-19, I guess that flexibility factor has increased since uh, we're not all gathering for a single big event. That's great. And I, you know what? The problem isn't going away. The issues aren't going away. There's going to be lots of opportunities following this, uh, I'm sure, to get involved with that. Thank you, Dale, for sharing this opportunity with us. We look forward to that uh, in the near future. Thanks, Dale. Thanks. Take care.